we ophthalmologists call intraocular pressure is not quite correct. What we call intraocular pressure is just the difference between the intraocular space and the atmospheric space measured across the cornea. And for example, if we dive 100 meters deep with 11 atmospheres on our eye, the intraocular pressure, physically speaking, is 11 times elevated and no glaucoma occurs. Or if as a glaucoma patient one walks up to the top of Mount Everest, where there's only half an atmosphere pressure, and physically the intraocular pressure is reduced to half, it is no cure for glaucoma. Because the transcorneal pressure difference is the same on top of Mount Everest or on the deep sea. The optic nerve is not a nerve, it is a part of the brain. Therefore it is surrounded by optic, by brain skin, brain meninges. And within this meninges is brain fluid. So that the pressure behind the eye surrounding the optic nerve is a brain pressure. And the hypothesis is that patients with glaucoma at a normal intraocular pressure could have a low brain pressure. That could be the same as if the brain pressure is normal and the intraocular pressure is elevated, leading to an increased difference between both compartments and thus leading also in normal pressure, normal intraocular pressure glaucoma to a pressure-induced optic nerve damage. So that one could explain why patients with normal pressure glaucoma and patients with high pressure glaucoma have a similar appearance of the optic nerve head.